What's up everybody, how's it going and welcome back. A few weeks ago, I got contacted by Victoria Square, who are like a shopping center in Belfast city center. So on the Sunday, they're hosting this event called Tech Panel. What they've asked us to do is come down and just share our knowledge. So it wasn't just me that was asked to come down, I was joined there by Mark Hill, who's a friend of mine. He's also a local vlogger and blogger. He does a lot of cool Instagram story stuff. You should check his channel out if you get a chance. Mark suffers from a heart disorder that basically has sort of stopped him doing the things he loves. Mark was a skateboarder, he was a bike rider. So he can't do a lot of that stuff. And I've been saying to him, well, I've got the electric skateboard, so why don't you come down, we'll film some stuff and have a play on the electric skateboard and then you can take it with you. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy it. What's up and welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm talking at an event um, called the Tech Panel uh, for Victoria Square, all about vlogging, tips and tricks and things I've learned on social media, Instagram, and things like that. So when we get the bike, I'm getting up the train. What's up everybody, how's it going? I'm in Belfast today and I'm talking at an event called Tech Panel. But before we do that, we got up today and the skies were blue and we thought what a waste of a day if we didn't do something. So I'm meeting up with Mark Hill, who you might remember from a couple of other videos or my Insta stories if you watch them. And Mark's gonna be talking on a panel with me today. So I thought, let's meet up, let's take the electric skateboard out and let's have some fun in the sun. Let's go. Okay, so just to give you a rundown of the board we've got today, this is one of the thick mini boards. This thing's kind of small for an electric skateboard, and it's only a one wheel power. So it's a wheel driven board, motors inside the wheel. Uh, it's only got the one, so it's not the most powerful board you're gonna get. But I, I use public transport a lot, I'm on trains, um, and I don't wanna really be carrying a big board around all the time. So this thing slots perfectly onto the back of my bag and I can carry it on off the trains, take it to the office and charge it up. Now the max weight in this thing is 86 kilograms and I think I'm pushing that without a bag. So when I got a bag on with camera gear on, the board struggles just a little bit. But for me, it's kind of perfect. I like it, it's small, it's nimble. It's kind of like skating a penny board with a little bit of an engine. You do have to give it a few kicks to get it going. But once you do, it's really good fun. So uh, let's, let's go do that. Okay, so I'm gonna be meeting Mark here somewhere on this bridge, and then what we're gonna do. Yo, Mark, that's Mark. What's up, man? You alright, right, dude? Good to see you. Yeah. Sometimes you just got a best kept low on this board because that's kind of when it does. Right, it's time to go grab a cup of coffee. You up for coffee? Yes, ma'am. Let's go get some coffee. And coffees are done. Uh, I went for a cold coffee. It's, you can't have a hot coffee in a day like this. Look at this. Mark's got some sort of fruit drink. Taking a photo of that, by the way. Right there. I love it. 
Woo! Oh, man. What do you think of the skateboarder, Mark? It's good. It's a lot like a penny board. Um, you do need to give it a couple of pushes to actually get going. But like, if you're commuting in Belfast, then you're commuting on a pretty straight, like, you know, pretty road that yeah. weaving around an awful lot. It's unreal. I like, yeah. I would love to get a go on like a boosted and yeah, yeah. compare because I think with the speed of yours, it's controllable, it's manageable in large crowds. Sure. A boosted would just be like, totally. Don't be wearing, he's wearing, what are you wearing? Here? DMs, dude. He's wearing, he's wearing Doc Martens for a skateboard. He knew he was skateboarding. <laughs> Wore Doc Martens anyway. I've been out here outside the city hall loads of Have you ever been in the city hall? I uh, actually, yes. Yeah. I did a marathon and you went in there to pick up your, uh, your goodie yeah. bag. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I only went in the city hall like earlier this year for the first time. Haven't been outside it so many times. So if you're here, you should go and check the city hall out. Let's um, I'll give you a teaser. Let's go take a look inside. Okay, so that's our tour of Belfast City Hall. Come and check it out because it's a really, really nice building. Mark and I are gonna go talk at this event now in about 15 minutes at Victoria Square, so let's head over there. We are getting mic'd up here. This is backstage. I mean, that, that ain't tech, what is? We've got Neve, you know this guy. And this is Greg from Rezone Games. These guys are all talking on a panel today. How cool is that? I'll tag everybody in the old uh, thing below. He's mic'd up. Yours is disguised, at least. Yeah, yeah, totally That's incognito. That's Neve there. Hi. You excited? I'm very excited to take out with you. It's gonna be good fun. Before I go on the weekends, now you're about to do something a little bit different. It's the first of its kind. It's Victoria Square's first ever tech panel. So uh, tech's becoming more and more intertwined <laughs> with fashion, with the likes of Apple, Vice of Fraser, Fossil, all. Oh, I know, I know. That's a start of a That's your way. And that's done. That was a really good, fun talk. I just, uh, that was good. It was good, very good. Mark is heading on, so Mark will catch you later, man. Uh, right, I'm gonna go. I am heading back to the train. Anyway, that's uh, that's that done. Oh, hold on. It was a really good talk. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Huge shout out to Victoria Square for letting us come along and be a part of that. I think the local community of, of film, vlog, photos, social media, all that stuff is it's just exploding here in, in Belfast and Northern Ireland. There's so many people there. Thanks to Victoria Square for letting us do that and be a part of it. And thanks to everybody that came down and watched. I'm going to eat some lunch now, by the way, because I am starving. So that's the end of that. I hope everybody enjoyed it. That was an incredible day. It's so nice getting to meet people who are into the same sort of stuff as you. Belfast might be small, but there's a lot of people who have got the same passion and drive for the same things that I do. So it is always cool meeting up with people who are into the same sort of stuff. Like take Mark, for example. I met Mark through Instagram and we've become pretty good friends. Now, Mark and I do very similar stuff on Instagram, but 
At the same time, they are completely different. I love the way Mark summarizes an entire day into one 15 second video. It's incredible. I, I couldn't stop talking long enough to do that. I think that's what's so incredible about a community like we have in Belfast. There's a lot of videographers, there's a lot of photographers, a lot of people in the social media. And the thing is like, a lot of us don't get the opportunity to talk to each other. It's such a new thing in this country. And there's loads of people there. And I love working with people who are just about bringing something fresh and positive to the local community. If you follow my stuff regularly, you'll know that like my Instagram follows a theme about the first perspective. I don't know, I really enjoy just trying to look at things a little bit differently. So if it's raining, yeah, it's raining, but we can't do anything about that. But what we can do is appreciate the beauty in the rain, things like puddle photography, things like slow-mo water droplets, or just even how architecture changes because of the wet weather. So I like to go out on my Instagram stories and take photographs, explain to people what I'm doing, show you my view. So if you're into that sort of stuff, check out my Instagram account. Dill takes photos, it's linked below. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was either educational or entertaining or just killed a bit of time while you waited for someone. Either way, if you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And I guess I'll see everybody in the next one. Take it easy. Turn and go. But once it's going, it's really good fun. So let's go play. Oh man, unbelievable, unbelievable. The timing was like, even if I hadn't gone the second time. Uh, I'll do see the whole thing again.